This YouTube is for messages in a bottle only. Show you how to farm them. Now the adventure starts, my friend. Crown of Hope, Jackie. Oh, what? YouTube, we are going to do science only ever existed on my YouTube channel. This is due to a research that I've done four or five years ago, and it created one of my top performing videos back then. Based on that logic, I wanted to see we can use that same logic to farm messages in a bottle. Now, as we go through that, because I wanted to watch YouTube and not skip to the end, I will show you why this works. I tried it off stream, somehow worked. But as we like to science together on stream, it seems like literally the guides I make on stream perform better than the guides that I work off stream. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Distinction one. We did around 11 messages in a bottle. We didn't do all of them because I have to pick up the kids. We have 11 messages in a bottle. We got crowns. We got king's chest. We got the corrupted skulls. We got so much stuff. So YouTube, this is the video that's going to show you how to do it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, so here's our science. There's a message in a bottle right there. I hope it's not a coral one. There it is. Message in a bottle. One, I found the route basically gives you a very high percentage of spawning messages in a bottle and mermaid statues. This theory is based on that. I made a video a long time ago called how to find and kill mermaids. The logic of the video is, where do mermaids spawn? Mermaids are always on shorelines, all the time. You never see a mermaid in the center of the island. Obviously they spawn where, where there is water, right? And by using that, that most areas mermaids spawn are cluster islands. Like these. You know, Sailor's Bounty, for example. Why is that? If the game had programmed bottles and mermaids, to spawn on shorelines, it means the more shorelines, the more mermaids and bottles. So with that in mind, I took a route of the most islands that have clusters. I did a quick test and I managed to get uh, like several bottles. One was floating in barrels, the other one was uh, on this island here. Here's another one. Two bottles. Let's pretend this was an ugly island. If this was one blob of land without all this water inside, the chance of bottles spawning inside is non-existent. It's only going to spawn on the outer edge of the island. But because this island has so many shorelines, if you stretch them out, it'll be like 15 islands maybe. The chance of bottles and mermaids, which you can get gems from, is way higher than any other island. So we found two bottles so far on Sharkbait Cove. You found four bottles this morning while doing this? Yeah. So for example, Snake Island will have a higher chance of bottles than uh, Cook's Hollow. That's close to it to the east. I'm gonna keep finding these bottles until Jackie joins. And then I'm gonna show you the route that you should take to get as much bottles as you can in a very fast way. Bottles are supposed to be for exploration, so it's not about like you know, trying to grind them too fast. There is a way. I made a video called One Island Infinite Loot. That was before Season 11 came out. So if you apply that one to Season 11, yeah, it's gonna get disgusting. You're gonna get so many bottles. Some people just like to explore, so I'm gonna show you this way. If you want to that way, you know, the video's up there. Should be on top left when this goes on YouTube. So the second stop is Old Salts at all. See, this one's kind of the same. Multiple uh, sure lines. So now, based on that logic, of course, nothing is certain. But we are increasing the chance. Alright, we got ourselves a bottle. And a few friends. Do not do these voyages until you're ready. The only way, even if someone sunk you a hundred times, the only way for these voyages to disappear from you is if you dive to another server. If your server merge, when that text appears, they stay on you because that's a server side thing. Alright, it seems like we are not getting any more than three messages of a bottle. We're gonna science now that if the game tests, if you have three or more messages in a bottle, it reduces the spawn rate of them or makes it not possible anymore. We are gonna dig out these messages in a bottle. Just the way I'll add. What do we have here? Four digs. 
So message in a bottle. We're gonna get these king chest. We are. Oh, I wanted to stack messages in a bottle, but I have a feeling somewhere in the untitled folders of Sea of Thieves, there's a line of code that says if three or more stop spawning messages in a bottle because we were getting them very very easy. Suddenly we are getting tent. Yeah, maybe there's server limit. We got three and we stopped getting. Like I wanted to stack ten, but I'm signs I stopped getting after three. Ooh, Jackie 7 fancy cargo. It's not like a specific voyage that gives you those, like you, it's just the regular ones, but you just get lucky with how many This of is better than the merchant emissary. That one gives you six. <laughs> so all the purple stuff, nice. So now what we're gonna to do is this, uh... Yeah, to Steven Spoils. And we have three skeletons at Castaway Isle. So we have here. And here, we can pass by Steven's Spoils, go up there. Then we will continue for the message in a bottle. But always optimize your time. So on the way there, now we're testing if the limit is three messages in a bottle. We're gonna do drive-bys, drive-throughs. So Jackie, for example, will launch to this island. Or I will launch around the shorelines. Then we'll launch to this one all the way there to get messages in a bottle. Jackie, I'm gonna launch uh, here. Check okay. messages in a bottle. Oh wait, I think I saw a message in a bottle in the water. Alright. This is also another thing to keep yeah, in I mind. Yeah, I got one. Nice. This is another thing to keep in mind. Are the are the water spawns... Oh, here I found one. <laughs> two! As soon as we dug out two, we found two. I'm back up to three now, you notice? As soon as we dug out two, two quests, we got two back. I mean four, but these two, these two, this one, we got, we finished one, this one I picked him up, I didn't deliver it yet, so technically we have four now. Four on uh, Foes Lagoon, four on Chicken Isle, Snake Island's one of the good islands, any island with many clusters. Normally I see them in Snake Island, yeah. Especially on that side there. Did I just see one? Called it, I said there's usually one on the other side, here's a message in a bottle, let's go. We're gonna be rich! It's working! I don't know why after the first one it didn't. We are farming messages in a bottle. Look how many I have. One, two, three, four, five. This has four. I'm coming, waiting for the mermaid. This, is gonna, this has four. This has four. Do not dig them out. Where's the mermaid? Do not dig them out unless you want to sell. So this one is the first like seven. This is the message in the bottle, the seven. You're always getting these chests for messages in the bottle, yep. Another four, and another four, and three skulls. One, two, three. Three corrupted bounty skull, level five emissary grade, and all these king's chests for messages in a bottle. So we finished all the messages in a bottle. All this only, of course these are random, all this is from messages in a bottle. Also, in addition to this, we sold seven uh, cargo crates. Yeah, Everything we're about to sell now, except like four or five items, is from messages in a bottle. You can just harpoon only that stuff. Because this stuff is all like from skeleton ships. 5k, 5k, 5k. Look, we're not even doing gold order. We just sold around 60 or 70k, maybe more, right? Worth of uh, items only for messages in a bottle. Chat, it's always a chance. YouTube, it's always a chance. But I'm going to show you how to improve that chance and get more messages in a bottle. Earlier, we got six. We sold so much. Now, here's what you do. Number one, you need to spawn at Plunder Outpost. If you do not spawn at Plunder Outpost, spawn somewhere else. That's fine. You open the table. Tall Tales, Shores of Gold, Cursed Rogue, Start Tall Tale, Dive and vote. We are plunder outpost again. Now we're gonna U-turn. You dive to shark bait. Then I will show you the route right now where to go. So we have three rum runner. Six from Port Merrick. We got this. Eight from Steven Spoil. 
Fool's Lagoon. Wonders Refuge. Oh, Jackie, you have one to dig at. Guess. Oh, that's the one you just got now. Okay. Yeah. So there are two ways. You either do your thing and keep doing drive-bys every island you pass. If you want to actively look for them, take the route of Shockbait Cove, Old Salts at all, Discover Ridge, a new turn. But there's a, a point where they just stop spawning. After you finish this route here, you go like this, like what we did now. You go here, like this, in Plunder Valley, you check these small islands and continue. You always find, always, always find Paradise Spring. Then you can sell a Plunder Outpost, rinse and repeat. All right, guys, we're going to check the, the riddle here. Now the adventure starts, my friend. shall sail together crown of hope jackie oh, one what? i've never two. seen this before yeah i get it from message in a bottle of riddles three will we reach distinction one i do not know click here to find out there we yay, go yay. distinction one i stream four times a week on youtube I don't even know what I'm on Twitch, man. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. YouTube, I stream four times a week on Twitch. Um, so, yeah. Hello, I'll see you there. Alright, guys, you take care.